It's weird. I wouldn't go really? inside. That thing went through my body. Hey you guys, it's Shannon Rose, and today I'm going to be doing a part two to my haunted house video series. Now if you haven't watched my part one, I will leave that down below. It will make a lot more sense if you watch that video first. That way you can kind of pick up on this video because if you don't watch that one, this video might not make total sense. So this story is actually something that happened to my dad when he stayed in my haunted house. Now the story I'm about to tell you is a story that he told me from his own personal experiences. For those of you guys that don't know my dad, he is super buff, rides motorcycles, kind of like a tough guy, and super skeptical, you know? He like would never say that he believed in ghosts. So years ago when I lived in my haunted house, Unfortunately, my dad had some financial hardships and he ended up losing his home. And so I offered for him to stay at my house and stay in the back house until he can get himself back on his feet. So what I'm about to tell you is something that happened to him that he has told me. And I actually have video footage from my birthday last weekend when we were all vlogging and hanging out with my family. We actually started talking about some of the things that had happened in my old haunted house. And I got it on camera of my dad actually telling the story of what happened to him in my haunted house. So I'm going to put that footage in a little bit later but first I just want to give you the layout for what actually happened to him and the story that he had told me then I'm gonna let you guys hear the story for yourself from him my dad was sleeping in my back house and in the middle of the night he had woke up to something something had woken him up and so he was laying there just like with his eyes open and he started hearing this noise and it was like this tapping noise on the windows and at first he was like what is that and then he started hearing it like on the roof of the house. And then he kept hearing these like tapping noises for a while. My dad's not the type of person that's like freaks out or anything or thought it was a ghost. He just thought it was me and my boyfriend like playing a prank on him at the time. He thought we were like messing with him. So he didn't get up, didn't think anything of it. He was just like, you know, those guys <laughs> messing around, you know, in the middle of the night trying to scare us. You know, eventually the noises stopped and my dad had gone back to sleep. Well, the next morning, my dad had woken up and he had come into the main house and we we're all having breakfast together. And he had, you know, mentioned us pranking him last night. And we were like, dad, what are you talking about? You guys were messing with me in the back house, you know, knocking on the walls and the doors and the roof and stuff. I was like, dad, that wasn't us. He was like, oh yeah, sure, whatever. And I was like, no, seriously, dad, we fell asleep at like 1030 last night. And he was like, oh, that's weird. I don't know what that was then. You know, just kind of like wrote it off. That was that. So then a few nights later was when he actually had a real ghost encounter. It was late at night. He had just fallen asleep. And I feel like my dad tells this story way better than I do. I'm just going to let you hear it from my dad himself. Wow, it's weird. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> me and her slept back there one night. <laughs> and and that went in, in the back house. Oh. And we were sleeping. Then all of a sudden, I rolled over on my stomach, and then it must have been about one or two o'clock in the morning. All of a sudden, from my feet to my toes to the top of my head, swear to God, like a tingling feeling all the way through my body. that went from this side all the way over. And, and at first, I'm like, you know, I want to get up and I'm like, man, am I dead, you know, or something? And I'm feeling this thing and then all of a sudden it just, it just leaves my body and I'm looking and I'm trying to think, oh man, what was that? And I swear, you know, and then she's always told me that that place was kind of like haunted or whatever or something. I don't know to this day what it was, and she was right next to me sound asleep, but that thing went through my body. A whole, and I mean not just like my arm was asleep or my yeah. leg was asleep. From my head to my toes, complete sensation of tingling going starting here and going all the way through my body. And and I didn't I didn't tell her for a long time. We thought somebody was uh up on the top, you know, adjusting or doing something. It was another weird one. We thought it was you guys, or I thought it was you guys, and I'm saying, what the hell is that? Because it went from that one to this one, and I'm saying, what are they doing, running around the house? They can't get to the vent, you know? And then he told us that the next day, and I was like, Dad, we were sleeping. That wasn't yeah. us. It was some spooky weird, stuff. Weird, 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 weird. So would you say that place was haunted? Well, I would say there was something out there. <laughs> <laughs> right that, before the we left. owners that just bought that. Yeah. He shot all everybody in the house and then shot himself. <gasps> what he describes as a ghost that had gone 
through his body and he could feel it and I think it like really scared him and creeped him out because my dad's a grown ass man he's a pretty tough guy for something to scare my dad and think it was like supernatural paranormal like ghost experience that's like a big deal so <laughs> when he told me that that scared the shit out of me and he didn't tell me for a while either I think because he didn't want to scare me because it was like my house and I had told him like you know I think my house is haunted all my roommates have been telling me my house is haunted you know I've had some weird things happen to me but I've just kind of like written them off so I didn't think he wanted to scare me because he knew I owned that house and had to live there but he ended up telling me after and not only that but his girlfriend also had some weird things happen and my mom also did too so I'm going to put them that I got on camera also here for you guys to let them hear what they had to say about my haunted house. Didn't want to be there, and you didn't. Oh my really god! But I was selling it. Weird. I wouldn't go really? inside. No, yeah. never bothered me. I would run in and take out the lounge chairs <laughs> and put so sat on the driveway. driveway. Sat so on the driveway for the people to come. I wouldn't go in the house by myself. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Mom, do you think the house was haunted? Yeah. Do you think the house was haunted? Yeah, I do. Yeah. You guys, I told you, my whole family thinks that house was haunted. It's not a story I'm making up. The house was definitely haunted, and we have some crazy stories to tell you. So stay tuned if you want to see more. So moral of this story is I lived in an extremely haunted house, and it was really scary. I have actually had some personal encounters myself that I haven't told you guys yet, but if you do want to hear those stories, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below, and yeah, I'll make a part three to this series. So I hope you guys enjoyed my ooh, spooky haunted house stories, and if you want to see more, let me know. I'm sending you guys all my love and all my positive energy, and I hope to see you in my next video. Mwah!